does it? How can the American people have confidence? And what do we do? I mean, what do we do? And there's one actor here, I think, who has not gotten the credit that they collectively deserve, and that's the Democrat National Committee. I just think, you know, I've heard my friends on the other side of the aisle complain about Hillary Clinton's campaign and how ineffective it was and how the DNC didn't do a good job in 2016. I beg to differ. This is the most incredible. The DNC pays for the Steele dossier, solicits the Steele dossier, and then gets the Federal Bureau of Investigation to go get FISA warrants, surveil an American citizen, surveil a presidential campaign, all on the basis of this manufactured garbage that they paid for. I mean, that's extraordinary. I, that's, that has got to be a first time in history. In fact, let me just ask you, Mr. Horowitz, are you aware ever of another presidential campaign being targeted by the FBI during the campaign like the Trump one was, to your knowledge. Has this ever happened? To my knowledge, but I wouldn't suggest I'm an expert on. But to your knowledge, no. You, I, as you're I not aware of anything like this. So, and I'm correct in thinking that the Steele dossier, the Fusion GPS dossier, was solicited by and paid for the DNC. I mean, that, that's correct based on what we're um, The Clinton campaign or the DNC, it was ultimately learned by the FBI that that was the case, or that came to be their belief. And the then, so, so, we get the Steele dossier, it's, it's fed to the FBI. The FBI goes and, and asks for these FISA warrants, which have all of the problems that you have articulated and that my colleagues have drawn out, including sometimes outright fabrication of evidence in these FISA applications. And then, not only does the FBI get a surveillance program ongoing, effectively of a presidential campaign during cycle, but they also get, the DNC also gets, news stories written during the campaign about the surveillance program. In September of 2016, there's a story about possible counterintelligence investigation of the Trump campaign. In October of 2016, there's a story about the FBI investigating the Trump campaign, and we know on that last one that, uh, that, that Steele himself was involved. Is that correct? In October That's correct, and the F FBI actually ultimately knew that he was involved in the September one as well that you're referencing, I believe. And, and, and yet what action did the FBI take when they knew these, these two facts? Well, they, in November, well, they closed him but then met what did the Crossfire Hurricane hurricane teams uh, take? What steps did they take when they knew this about Steele is what I should ask? I'm sorry. Well, they, same. what happened is they closed him as a source in November, but that's when the meetings with Mr. Orr started where he was right. the conduit between them. Right. So he's still able, the FBI still it takes the information just via a DOJ conduit, which is its own separate unbelievable problem. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yet still they're taking all this information on board uh, from Steele, even after they know that he's totally incredible. Uh, it, to me, it is this is the untold story of the 2016 campaign. And I don't know who at the DNC hatched this, but uh, uh, you know, I suppose they ought to, uh, maybe it's uh, take a victory lap, but certainly they should be remembered for it. Uh, to get the FBI to launch, pursue surveillance of a rival presidential campaign, and then into the, the newly elected president's term, I think it's just extraordinary. It is absolutely extraordinary. So let, let me ask you this. Are these individuals whose, whose misdeeds that you have documented here in this report, the, the members, I'm thinking of the case agents, other members on the Crossfire Hurricane team, are they still, to your knowledge, working at the FBI? My, to my understanding, some are, some are. And why are those who are, why are they still there? What's your understanding? I think you'd have to ask Director Ray. Uh, I, and indeed, I think we should. Uh, what about the case agent who directly misled the DOJ intelligence attorney, Office of Intelligence Attorney, about Carter Page's relationship with other intelligence agencies in our government, who directly mis misled the OI about that? Is that person, to your knowledge, still at the FBI? To, to my knowledge, that person is still there. And is, is still actively working, maybe is still acting that, as a case that agent, I think to your knowledge? Have to ask what about procedures at the FBI? To, to your knowledge, what procedures have been changed at the FBI to date to prevent something like this from happening? I think um, all that I'm aware of is what's in Director Ray's letter that's attached here. But certainly there are far more reforms and changes that are needed to address all of our recommendations. That's, that's a good beginning, but there's a lot more to be done. I, I will just say in, in closing, Mr. Chairman, that I think it is, it, it is an extraordinary thing when the most powerful law enforcement agency in the country, maybe the world, is able to effectively intervene and influence a presidential election at the behest and with the cooperation of another political party. I mean, 